hello guys welcome back to my channel and today I decided to show you my DIY dial up let's call it ISP so I got this computer running Windows Server 2012 with two modems which are connected to this VoIP adapter I showed you in my previous video now I don't have any VoIP account it just this has the number one this has the number two and they are connected on this patch panel here this is connected to the modem in this port and this will be my telephone this I will plug this into the modem so let me show you that first this is my setup this tiny laptop tiny Acer laptop with this old USB modem now it does work only on 32 bit system so that's why I have this thing so let me show you So, I will plug the telephone wire here and I will disable Wi-Fi so the only internet connection in this will be yeah, this has a problem with just spams the X key, I do not know why, but let's dial opening port. and we are connected you can see the traffic going through and it will be 30 uh, point something kilobits yes 33.6 that's expected <coughs> and we have both IP version 4 and version 6 internet connectivity now is this any useful well um, I don't think so oh you can see my camera here so let's try internet explorer because chrome overwhelms this this link yeah just turning on the browser overwhelms the connection so let's go to google and yep that's dial up for you if you don't have any other way to access the internet let's say you're in a remote cabin well, you could set this one up and let's try YouTube. Can I search YouTube here? Oh, Oop. I would screen record this laptop, but I think. I doubt the Intel Atom CPU is going to handle it very well. So, there's no way it's going to load YouTube. Look, it maxes out the connection.
Anyway, I think that's enough. You could use this for email and such, but I think uh, you've seen it work. So let me disconnect and show you the let's go uh, the server side of things. So disconnect and let's go to my computer. So we are back on the server side of things let's let me show you something where is it now I want to go to yes routing and remote access this is where you set the modem and you could use this for VPN and such so you got all of this for VPN connections and oh what is this? This is our modem. So le let me connect so you can see the status changing. It takes a bit to call and Authenticating and boom, it authenticated. It got an IP, an IP version 6 IP, and everything is okay. If we see here, we see basically the same information the, the user dial and such. And if we go on to task manager yeah that's that's a nice I mean let's close it you won't see any difference so that's it I just wanted to show you this it's pretty easy to do if you have a Windows Server installation on an old computer, a modem, and a VoIP adapter. And you could connect it to the normal phone network using a provider's analog line or your own VoIP line, but that's all I have for today. Stay tuned. Um, now, Sadly, my SDR that I showed you in my previous video, it seems that it has died. I don't know how. I may try to reflash the firmware again, but stay tuned because I have a IBM server coming soon. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.